Shining a bright red as always is I Red Luster, and welcome back to Dread X Collection. No, I'm not going to finish that thing by the late game. No, I'm not doing it. No. Let's play something else. I should probably explain what these uh, cognitive kicks uh, really are. It's a fancy way of saying we're traumatizing you. Piece by piece, brain segment by brain segment. Like I said before, we'd normally go in with a precision tailored memory to unilaterally traumatize you in, in a more subtle manner, but well, given our circumstances, uh, well, napalm might be loud, but it gets the job done. Each puzzle is a primer for the kick. We get your brain to peek its head out of its hole, so we can give it another whack. Sounds barbaric? Well, it's that or you eat your family and grow tentacles. Your call. I don't know, having tentacles would be kind of cool. <laughs> I'd certainly be able to get a lot of work in, uh, in, uh, a lot of different things. You're still freaky, by the way. Uh, let's, uh, do this one. Another late night. Thank you. Another late night. Uh... Here it is. I didn't even read what it was about. I should... Uh, I'm sorry, I should have done that. Then again, going in without any idea what's gonna happen... Might be more exciting. Say, so might be. All right, game capture. Swap to another late night. Is it up? Uh, game capture. Game capture. Hello? Should I just start it? Uh... Game capture? Oh no, don't tell me this is one of those uh, games that just don't record. Oh, please, please. Oh. Well, there's no point in playing this if it's not going to record. Sorry, folks, I'm going to have to skip this one. The game capture is just not recording it at all. Which is stupid, but... Say la vie, that's, that's just how life is. So we're gonna have to skip that one. Yeah, we're just gonna have to skip that one. Uh, didn't even get the achievement for starting it. Oh well. Uh, Charlotte's Exile. Charlie has gone missing. The last hope for embrace lies in old written language. I don't like the look of this one. It looks, it looks rather boring. Cause horror and books don't really combine well, unless it's a Necronomicon. But Charlotte's Exile. Oh, this one's this one's loading pretty hard. Oh, hey. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. One, one, one second. One second. God, do this again. Uh. No, I did not click that. Thank you very much. Here we are. There you are. Capture. Oh, I almost got that perfectly. So this is Charlotte's Exile. 
Start! My beloved Charlotte, the woman that had become as much a part of me as I was of myself. She had always been ravenous in studying the ancient texts left of the Eldritch Gods. I didn't what? understand what she told me about her studies, but I supported her as best I could. Uh, 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 don't date crazy. If you're dating a girl and, and she tells you, Oh, I love studying ancient texts left by our Eldritch Gods. That's not a red flag. That is a collection of red flags that are all just exploding. Just, no, don't, don't. Do not. I don't care if she's as beautiful as beauty can be. When she starts talking about eldritch gods, you know you're going to end up as a sacrifice for, uh, for one point. One night... You're going to think, oh, things are going great. We're going to the bedroom. Things are going to get cool. And then then she buffs, then she gets out the handcuffs. And at first you think, oh, this is kind of this is kind of freaky, but I can get with it. And then she handcuffs your arms and then your legs. And then she pulls out a ritual dagger, stabs you, cuts you open, and bang. You become a sacrifice to an eldritch god. You, you don't even get the third base with her. You, 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 you get stabbed. That's it. And you die. Maybe, at best, seeing Cthulhu before you die. But yeah, don't, don't, don't date girls that are really vocal and happy about their love for eldritch gods. Anyway. And then, one day, she began to talk of such things as saving our realm from the incoming evil and being infested by an approaching darkness. I woke the next morning and she was gone. A note left to me only contained the words, I have been banished to the ancient realm. It is for the best. Okay, in this scenario it sounds like she didn't sacrifice him, which is good. Now, let's see if he takes the correct course of action and does not try to pursue her. Distraught and searching for anything I could do to bring her back, I sought the help of a miser high in the mountains. He showed me but one hope, a torn scrap of ancient text describing the process of recapturing the essence of a loved one from the dark pits of that shadowy place. Torn and ragged, it was written in an eldritch language long forgotten by our culture, known only to those who had contact with the eldritch gods themselves. Okay. He did the exact thing he shouldn't have done. Congratulations. I snatched the scrap from the old man and brought it to the great library. I thought I could use the texts written there to decode the alphabet of the ancient language so I could know the secrets written on the scrap of paper and bring her back to me. Maybe he's just as crazy as she is. Either way, I'm not rooting for him. In the library, then is where my story begins. And probably where it's gonna end. Dummy. Oh. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Okay, I'm guessing that's a bow. Uh, eldritch beings compiled for the study and protection against ancient terrors. Great. I hate this already. No, I don't. I, I, oh, I don't like the looks of that. I don't like the looks of any of this. Uh, like, do I actually have to decode this bit by bit?
Oh. Okay, that's more reasonable, but still, why? Why? Why would you do that? There's my first clue. I should jot that down. Uh, monsters, part A. Okay, so A is... That thing. A... Yeah, uh, which of these symbols was it? So many. That one. Okay. Cthulhu! Hey, my big old buddy Cthulhu. Mr. Tentacle Face. Feared by all. Cthulhu causes his... Uh, the, 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 the. His name uh, was Lengthen from Translate to Old Hull. Describe his prominence in ancient text. Okay. So... I don't think I learned a letter from that. Oh boy, it lurks here. If it's close, look at it. Okay. A servant carries the duties and blah blah's absence and being in uh, shadows. See the return of its master. It starts towards a creature slowly, quietly. His return is being threatened. If it is seen closing on its goal, it seems to retreat. Great! A uh, big ol' eye monster thing. Eye of the uh, rat mass. Great, a bunch of rats stuck together with glue. Fantastic. Mentioned only once in the ancient text. Horrific for no reason, as much as simply being the sort of. Hold up. Mentioned only once in the ancient text. Horrific for no reason, as much as simply being sort of gross. Excuse me, sorta gross? Okay, by describes as being no shape and all shapes. No order but all beauty. Aside true t uh, horror and magnificence, true definition of. <laughs> One can construct a rat mass at home with proper supplies, apply glue liberally. Okay. Uh. Pillar of melting flesh sprouting from the earth. The, the, the. Banished by the blah, blah, blah. The earthquake caused short time. Civilization is their knees. Reformatory affected. It has no known way to be resummoned. Uh, 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 is that a monster? I do believe that's a monster. 340. Is that a monster? I can't, I think it is. It's a bit dark, it's hard to tell. Uh, the Hounds of Tillos, uh, not quite Hound, not quite being, uh, too, too horrific to describe there. Blah, 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 340. So, uh, guess I have to look at the clock. Uh, three, or, no. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Okay. Synonyms. Uh, three forty. Oh, great, it's gone. 
Uh, foreign monster, Antarctica, live alone. Oh, Eldritch Devices. Uh, D is hook. D is hook thing. D is, uh, hook thing. Great. Woo, boy! Ha <laughs> ha! Ha ha! But D! Ha ha! Hoo wee! Bring it out the southern in me! Hoo! Okay, that, star that, that startled me good. That actually startled me pretty badly. Okay. Clock. Artifact stolen from time itself. Da da da. Messages. The clock displays different messages caught in time depending on where the hands lay. The messages it shows are never ordered, instead appearing a string of letters to be sorted up for those who observe them. I see you in the back there, buddy. Okay, so, um, what do I do with the clock? I set the 340. That doesn't seem to help. Synadnums. Ancient box. M space 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 space. Taken from the depths of the ocean, this box contains a secret known only to those who hid it. Ancient text described the way they've thrown it into streams of time. Streams of time to keep its secrets safe from eldritch monsters. Tradition holds the box can be opened through use of a simple word, though may have tried been and been unable. I see you back there, buddy. Ancient box. Eldritch board. Used for the banishment and summoning of creatures from the ancient realm from the human realm back. The Eldritch board is developed a way to spell ancient horrors, combina combinations, use constructies, been lost over time. Those scraps of combinations are still. Written in the ancient alphabet still exist. Okay. I guess. I see you. Uh, monster is part B. B is claw thingy. B is claw thingy. There's a lot of claw thingies. I should be more specific. Upright claw. Upright claw? That's also not specific enough. Uh. Kinda looks like a swastika. Is that. Can I. I don't want that thing sneaking up on me. Uh, where is it? Oh, it's the very first one. I caught you again, buddy. You are spooky. I don't like... No, not that one. That one. Okay, so we got some letters. I see you back there. Star Spawn of Cthulhu! Great! More Cthulhu references! Uh, blah blah blah. Uh, Toad God, blah blah blah. Sh uh, Shogoth. Incredible Speed and Immense Cold, don't care. Uh, Rub. <laughs> Rubber ducky? Eldritch duck? What? Ducky has become an eldritch being somehow is just living it up and of bringing terror to everyone. Ducky just uses eldritch powers to make sure everyone has a really nice day and insists you take a break to eat a sandwich. Ducky would also like you to know that block... Block thingy thing, it means quack. I can actually use that information. 
So quack, Q U A C K. Oh, I know all those letters now. Okay, so box with lines in it. Box with lines in it is Q. I see you back there. So box with lines in it is Q. Uh, dot at the bottom left with lines. Dot at the bottom left. Dot at the bottom left. Is you. You, 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 you. You. Okay. Uh, that's A. We already know A. C is the triangle. Triangle, triangle. Triangle, okay. And K is upward D. Upward D is A, B, C, D, E, F. I'm sorry, I'm just being really cautious about them. Where's K? K. I see you. Oh, you're breathing, kinda. Wait. Upwards D is K. Upwards D is K. Okay. Uh, bleh. Bleh. O, F. We know F. F, A, B, C, D, E, F. I'm watching you, buddy. F is... Uh, horizon with the sun to the left. F. I know you're around here somewhere. Infested. This has been written by Charlotte. I caught you! You sneaky little devil. You're never getting me. I am infested. Uh, deceit and confusion, the largest eldritch threat to communities, common for an infest the body of a human, control them for its own met. Motives, the, is the moment is unknown ever, is taking someone as host banishment, individual, only well to stop it from, from shrouding consciousness and eventual darkness. Maybe you shouldn't get her then. Oh, this is the end of the book. That, 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 that's, yeah, the... Okay, let's start from the beginning. We need to learn all the letters. Uh, Cthulhu, his name was lengthened when translated from old scribes, adding... Oh, adding... Uh, H U L H in the middle. Okay, so remove that part. And we know that's C. That must be T. Kane with an I. Kane with an I is T. A B C D F G H I J K O M P T. Okay. And we already know what U is. It lurks here. Yep, I see you, buddy. If it's close, look at it. I'm looking at you, buddy. You can't hide from me. You may have one big giant eyeball, but I got two giant eyeballs. Huh? How you gonna deal with that? 
Get out of here. I got death perception. Uh, true sight and horror, the true definition of a... Uh, I don't know what that is. Horrific for no sort of reason, simply being sort of gross. The true definition of a blank. I don't know what that means. Banished by the... Uh, Uh, 340. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. What does that mean? Madnums. I see you, buddy. Uh... I already did this one. Ancient artifact from time itself. The clock displays different messages caught in time depending on where the hands lay. The messages it shows are never ordered, instead appearing in a string of letters to be sorted out by those who observe them. It is rumored that adjusting these hands together new connections from time to space. So I need to rearrange the letters on a clock to mean something. I have no idea what, though. Uh... I hate word scrambles, because I can never think of... I don't see a word, I just see a bunch of letters. You know what's really bad about that? Depending on which side he's on, you can hear him in that ear. And I hate that. I hate that. Because it really feels like he's really close. Uh, ancient box M. Oh, does it start with an M? Madness. Madness. I think it's madness. Oh, and I need to spell out madness on the box, don't I? Uh, shoot. I don't know M. I don't know which is or M. Uh, I need to find out M. Blob-like beings that can envelop a creature and non-creature alike, the, sh the Shogoth possesses incredible speed and immense cold, but slow and more pudding-like in warmth. Early manuscripts seem to view Shogoth as harmless creatures, sometimes even shortening their name and adding an I at the end. As was common in the ancient language to show endearment. I see you. So, at the, add I at the end. So we know that's an I then. Which is funny, because it looks like an I. Kind of. Where is it?
A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. That's I. Where is the... There it is. Okay, so we know that's an I. Is it supposed to say Shoggy? So that thing is a G, I think. G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. That's a G. Dot with two lines up through it. Dot, 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 dot. Okay, just being cautious of Mr. Screamy. H is that square thing that's, that square thing that's broken in two pieces. Like, I'm going to break you into two pieces. Two pieces. Two pieces. Two pieces. That's H. I believe. And the that thing should be an O. So three lines. Three lines is O. We're starting to get something. Uh, thank you, Duck. Um. Uh, oh, rule. Are you... Or... I can't read that. But, uh, I think we have those letters already. R-U-L? We don't have L, actually. Uh, L is, uh, three lines to the right, a dot. There, I think that one. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. Okay, we're getting more letters. We already know F. And this is the end of the book. Great. Great. And that doesn't help me yet. Ah. Uh... So we know a lot of the letters, but we're missing some still. Uh, I I'm trying to catch it. I think it's about to attack me. Bunch of rats stuck together with glue mentioned only once in X. Sort of gross. The writer descri describes it. The writer describes it as being with no shape and all shapes, no order, all beauty, the sight of true horror and magnificence, the true death. I see you. The true definition of a blank. Uh. What's A? A. Oh, is that mass? Is that what, is that what mass is? Uh. We don't have an S. We do have an A. We don't have M. I'm going to assume that's mass. So, uh, I with a line through it is M. Is it? I through... A line through it is M. Okay, I must be onto something. 
M dot uh, horizon with two lines down is S. Go away. Horizon with two lines. That's that's three lines actually. Uh, I'm getting so close. I'm getting so close. I'm still missing some letters. Banished by the... I don't know what that one is. Uh, what's that one? This one is... Okay, so it starts with a G. G... And that... Well, this isn't a sword of the letter yet. G was banished by the G something... G something... G something O. Uh. Is, uh. Is that perhaps N? E with a dot over it? N? Maybe? Yes, it is. Okay, we're getting we're getting really close. So G N O G N O P H. So sideways I with a line should be P. I think uh D that's uh Okay, that's a dash. That's good enough and then the last three letters. Uh K is that K C H or K E H? I hate cursive writing. I hate it. I don't care how much faster it is to write in cursive or oh how pretty it looks. It's harder to read. I'm going to assume that this is E. Go away. We're only missing a few letters. Me summoning a uh, blank. Wait, I can solve this, I think. Me summoning a loved one from the ancient realm began with the middle of... Okay, I need to find R. R. Try that one? No, that's not R. This one. No. Uh. No. Go away! No. Which one hasn't been assigned a letter yet? This one? I can, I can brute force it. Resummoning a loved one. V. No. V. No. V. V. 
Read something a loved one from ancient realm F. A, B, C, D, E, F. No. Yeah. Read something with uh, W. We need to find W. Uh, W, which one, that one, no, which one hasn't been assigned a letter yet, that one, no, uh, that one, no, uh, that one? No. I guess I should just try guessing all of them. Oh. Whoops. I think I accidentally deleted one. Uh. No, wait. I need to find a W. I don't know which one's W. Clock. The switchboard. Star spawn. I see you. There you are. Uh. Rule. Bugs. I really just need to find the last letter. Let's start from the beginning. A. Cthulhu. I. Rat Mass. Banished. I did that one. I think I really just had to brute force it. I just need to figure out which one of these it is. Read something a loved one from the ancient realm. Oh, I, I don't even know B. I should try to figure out B. B? B. B. Excuse me? Did I scare him away? Please tell me I'm not going to die. Please tell me I'm not going to die. I'm so close. Uh... Wait, is that it? I didn't even realize this note here is probably this. Okay, so... W... W, I think, is... Where is it? I haven't seen it in a while. W is Wait, I think I found B. I think I found B in trying to find W. B is that one. Wait, I think I messed... No, I messed that up. Uh... 
Uh. Wait, it's not even on order on this thing. Oh, the, uh. The hook with an eye? The hook with an eye, where is that? That's T. Um, I'm really starting to feel I should just brute force this. Oh, wow, that worked, I think. Yeah, that was. Okay, wow, I completely guessed. Uh, the box with the lines might be W? New? New. Which one of you are W? One of these is W. Wait a minute. If I know W is the only letter left, I should just read it. I feel like I should complete this. I, I feel I feel obligated to complete this. No, not that one. Did I mess it up? I, I messed it up. <laughs> Go away! I'm sorry it's taking so long. I, 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 I keep messing up. No, that's not G. Oh my god, I should just look through the book again. G. G is. I with the two lines through it. Uh. Okay, I really is just trying to figure out which one W is. Not that one. Oh my god, I think I, I, I did it! Resummoning a loved one from the ancient realm, begin with the middle four. Resummoning a loved one from the ancient realm, begin with the middle four, press the top two corners. The middle four, what? Resending a loved one from the ancient realm, begin with the middle four. Wait, begin with the middle of four. What? What does that mean? Resending a f begin with the middle four. Middle four. I'm guessing the middle four in the, the row. Okay, middle four. Begin with the middle four, press the top two corners, then press those right beneath the mark of the lowest row. I hate these I hate these instructions. Begin with the middle four. Press the top two corners. Top two corners. What do you mean, top two corners? Okay, I'm guessing those. Then press those right beneath the mark of the lowest row. Wait. Then press those right beneath the mark of the lowest row. The mark of the lowest row, what? What? What is that? What? 
Then press those right beneath the right beneath mark the lowest row. I can't read this because I'm too busy panicking about the thing trying to kill me. Okay, good. I scared him away. Press the top two corners, then press those right beneath the mark of the lowest row, save for the rightmost, which will be the last. Press the sides remaining, those in the upper row, to the final node. Okay, so top two corners, then press those right beneath the mark, the lowest row. These instructions are not very clear. Alright, start with the middle four. Press the top two corners. Top two corners, I'm guessing, are the two up top. Then press those right beneath the mark. Then press those right beneath. Mark the lowest row and save the rightmost. Okay, so what you're saying is beneath all but the right. All but the right, say which will be the last. Then press the sides remaining, and then those in the upper row to the final node. So. Was that it? Was that it? That didn't seem to do anything. That didn't seem to do anything. Okay. <sighs> or should I do that other thing first? Madness. Uh, M. M, A, so... I with the line through it. I with the line through it. The other I with the... Uh... That one, uh, D. D is the hook. Mad. N. The E with a dot below it. N. E. The I arrow. Then S. Uh, horizon. Horizon with a dot. Oh, Jesus! Uh, hold on. Gee, I didn't expect it to explode! If you're reading this, the loved one has been infested with the soul of a soul left now the fourth and has banished an ancient realm. This has traditionally been a hopeless loss of someone special. However, I've done research in ancient texts and believe I found something important that I must hide so it cannot be undone by the evil. Beings, bringing your loved one back can be done with the use of the Eldritch Board. Doing so will also bring the soul of with it with them, and the world will fall into chaos. However, we're the first. However, we're the first and last steps of the board sequence switched. What? We're the first and last steps of the board sequence switched. I have reason to believe this will split the souls apart and bring your loved one back without the darkness. 
I pray to use this information with immense caution, as if I'm wrong, me and you know it can cease. Okay, the steps of the last two board sequence switched. Great, I still need to figure out the sequence. I didn't even see him that time, so go away. Okay, reset that. Resetting of the loved one from the ancient realm. Begin with the middle four. Press the top two corners. Wait. When it says begin with the middle four, does that just mean press all the ones? I hope that's what it means. Er, wait. Uh... However, the first and last steps of the board sequence switched. So the middle four should be the last, actually. Okay. So the middle four are last. And the first should be... Begin with the middle four, then top two corners, and those right beneath... And those right beneath. Mark. The lowest row and save the rightmost, which will be last. These instructions are worded in such a stupid way that they don't make any sense. At least not to me. I don't know where the being is. All right, begin with the middle four. So that's the last thing to do. Begin with the middle four. Press the top two corners. And press those right beneath. So top... So what's the last one? What's the last step? All right. Begin with the middle four. Press the top two corners. Then press those right beneath. Mark the lowest row and save the rightmost, which will be last. Press the sides remaining and those right upper row. Press the final node. Okay. So the middle four to last, I should do... So what's the first? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Right beneath, mark the lowest row, save the rightmost, which will be last. Or is... Alright, so... Bottom rightmost is the last, so that should be first. Alright. Press the top two corners, then those right beneath. I think. Right beneath, mark the lowest row and save the rightmost, which will be last. Press the sides remaining, and then those in the upper row, press the file node. So... Press the remaining ones. Did I do it? Did I do it? Charlotte, the woman I love. She stood before me exactly as I remembered her. No longer did she have a beast inside her. The ancient split had given her back. I grabbed her hand and led her outside the library. We stood together in the moonlight. No words were shared with each other, but no words were needed. All was right. Woo! 
I did it. Okay, let's see the other ending since we're here. Yep. So, uh, begin with the middle four. All right. Boop, 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 boop. Top. All right. All right. Top two corners, right beneath. Mark the lowest rows, save the rightmost. That should be pressed last. Press the sides remaining, and then those in the upper row. Okay, so press those, that one, that one, that one. Now we resummon the ancient evil. In a moment, the ritual was completed. But something was wrong. Charlotte appeared in front of me, but I saw so clearly that she was not who I remembered her to be. There was a beast inside her, something horrible, dark. Neolarthotep had taken form in my love, and I had unleashed it back into the world. Yep. With a cry of horror, I hid my face, but it was no use. Neolarthotep enveloped me, using my soul to fill the gap that was left in the ancient realm. There was nothing to stop Neolarthotep from destroying our realm. Darkness enshrouded the human world. I had brought about the new reign of the ancient gods. What? <laughs> you missed something. Yeah. I think it was my rational thinking. Thinking that bringing back my girlfriend from the ancient... Ancient terrible monster deaths was a good idea. But this was a good one. This is a good one. At first I was really intimidated by all the reading and such cuz not a big book person, but this was this was very interesting. I like the uh I like the searching for the uh the clues and stuff. But I will have to say, the main thing that made this uh, a good amount of scary was the monster that you had to keep an eye on. If it weren't for that, this would have been boring. I mean, the puzzle, yeah, it would be still fun to complete, but it wouldn't be scary. That monster that is stalking you, that was really the... The, uh, the icing on the cake. That was, that was really what made this sweet. Because otherwise, it would have just been a bland, dry cake. But this was really good. I was, I was really surprised. I'm really surprised how good this was. This video is stupidly long, though. Uh, yeah, over an hour. Whoops. That's what I get for being bad at puzzles. But this was Charlotte's Exile. This one was a really good one. Uh, this is Red Luster, signing out.